What's up, Exeters? So today, we have exited off here in LA. More specifically, we are at Forest Lawn Cemetery. And this video is a little different than our usual spooky, unusual, creepy stuff. It does have a little bit of a weird twist that I'm gonna tell you about this first person, but I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> okay, so you guys know what to do. Come on, join us on this adventure. February 24th, 1890, a woman by the name of Mary Tomlinson was born in Indiana. Oh, Mary Tomlinson. Now, you might be asking yourself, who's Mary Tomlinson? Well, that's because she later changed her name to Marjorie Maine. Um, that's a more famous name associated with Hollywood. I know that name. <laughs> so, Love she changed her name because she wanted to save her family embarrassment. Her dad was a minister, and I guess, I don't know, maybe frowned upon her going into acting or something. I, I mean, I could see that back then. I mean, I don't know where it'd be shameful because she didn't like do any bad type movies. Yeah, so 1916, she got her break on Broadway. And in 1931, she appeared in her first film. Now, Marjorie Main was in um, a few different films, but she didn't really get her known break until the Ma and Pa Kettle films. In 1947, The Egg and I came out, which she wasn't a starring role in this film. She was a supporting character. And funny, I didn't know this until I started researching her that... The Egg and I was actually based off of a novel that did so well, they turned it into film. And the lady that wrote The Egg and I based Ma and Pa Kettle's characters on real life farm neighbors. So Marjorie Main was kind of known for having like a real rambunctious, so to speak, voice, super loud. In the Ma and Pa Kettle movie, she was always like, come and get it. And I mean, it's just hilarious. Now they came out with several of these movies. Unfortunately, Percy Kilbride, who plays Paul Kettle, died before they completed them, but Marjorie Maine was in all of the movies. And they're black and white films that are extremely hilarious. Yeah. And in the movies, the two of them actually have 15 children one being the most important was Tom. He was featured in a lot of the movies. And you had Rosie. She and, was next. And I think Elton. And Elton, yeah. Those but were the three oldest. Funny thing is, in real life, Marjorie Main didn't have any children. So here she is. It says, Mrs. Mary Tomlinson Krebs, Marjorie Main. 1890 and she died in 1975 so she passed away of lung cancer but she's buried over here next to her husband dr stanley cribs he died significantly before her and 40 years before her the thing that i was gonna say that and was born 26 years before her so she married her, an older guy. He was 26 years older than her. And then died of roughly 40 years before her. So the funny thing and weird thing about Marjorie Maine that I was talking about earlier is people have reported, or from what I've read, that she would actually bring Stanley's, which is kind of weird because he's right here beside her, but it said it would bring he would she would bring an urn with her and she would often stop in the middle of takes and have full-blown conversations with stanley <laughs> like the woman on the the train in the the one movie where uh i think kim 
is trying to go back somewhere and she's sitting at the table and the old lady's here and she's like, no, you can't sit there. That's blah, blah. My husband, exactly. like, I can never ride forward and he can't ride backwards in the train because she so she's like, do you want to sit over here next to her? She's to also him. in the, the egg and I because that was her house in the egg and I. Remember the character, uh, they, the cops come, they say, oh, we're looking for her because this was her house. Anyway, they said that she would often order extra plates of food for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like the woman in the freaking, in the movie, that's one of the characters of the movie. So that is a little weird. It was a little weird, old Marjorie. So you kind of might be asking yourself why we picked this particular video to do. So back in, whenever I was in middle school, many, many years ago, you know, back when the wheel was square, <laughs> my dad wanted these movies for Christmas. And so we got them for him on cassette, you know, cause it was, you know, VCR days. <laughs> Long before <laughs> DVD. <laughs> Anyway, and I was like, oh my God, these movies are so dumb because they're black and white because, you know, I was a kid and I thought that's not cool at all, you know. Our kids are the same way, <laughs> even the one holding the camera right now. <laughs> so I eventually sat down and watched these movies and I have loved them ever since. So... She entertained me through my childhood and she still entertains me today. And that's why when we came to Los Angeles and I knew like she was buried here, this I knew it was like a video I wanted to do. Yeah, because if you ain't seen the Mom Pod Kettle movies, you got to ask yourself what you've been doing with your life. Stop right now. <laughs> go look them up. Now, you're going to probably have to get them on Amazon because for some reason you can't find them digital so far i don't know why apple tv doesn't have them amazon prime you can't buy them on there like you're gonna have to actually go to the amazon website and order them on dvd okay but do it for yourself because you'll think this later trust me for our next stop on this mom pa kettle video we are at san bruno california more specifically the Golden Gate National Cemetery. It's really pretty here. Yeah, it is. It is it's kind of right next to the freeway, though, so it is a bit noisy. But, I mean, it's just white headstones as far as I can see. Kilbride was born July 16, 1888 in San Francisco, which this cemetery is a few miles from San Francisco. He started acting in theater around the age of 12, but really didn't have his big break until the Mom Paul Kettle films, just like Marjorie Maine. Most of the roles that Percy Kilbride had, he was depicted more of like a country bumpkin, just like Paul Kettle. Just like most of the roles that Marjorie Maine had, she was a motherly figure, just like her role as Ma Kettle. Now, Paul Percy, but we're gonna refer to him as Paul, he was known for the black derby hat. You know, he <laughs> had a rope to tie his pants up. That was his belt hated doing work, absolutely the most laziest character you could ever have in a movie. Like he would sit in a rocking chair and one of his 15 kids would be doing chores 
and you're like, you need to let, pick your feet up. Pa got a sweep up on him. And he's like, well, pick them up. Like, wouldn't even pick his own feet up. I mean, the man, the, he was just hilarious in the movies. So just underneath this tree over here, literally next to the freeway, is the final resting place of Pa Kettle. None other than Mr. Percy W. Kilbride. Now, if I'm reading this, his headstone correctly, from California, obviously, but he had Private Company B, 317th Infantry, 88th Division, World War I. And Pa Kettle, Mr. Percy Kilbride, was born in 1888 and died in 1964. In 64, Percy Kilbride was walking with a fellow actor and friend, Ralph Belmont, in their neighborhood, or Percy's neighborhood, and both were struck by a vehicle. Um, Ralph died instantly, and Percy sustained like head injuries and died from that two months later. The studio had initially promised Percy Kilbride that Mom Pa Kettle Back at Home would be the last film. And that was the last film that he was actually in. And then the tragedy happened with the car accident and he was killed. And then the studio went on to make two more additional films after promising him that. Yeah, it was... Um Ma Pa Kettle, uh, the Ozarks, and then Old McDonald's Farm was the last one, or McDonald Old McDonald's Farm. In which the Ozark was supposed to be Pa's brother, yeah. in which the character did act a lot like Pa, lazy, but he was very grumpy, whereas Pa was like really kind of just, he was lazy, but he was such he a was nice, chill. cheerful little man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he was ever grumpy. Like, I don't think in any of the movies he was ever grumpy. Now, he would get agitated about stuff, but never grumpy. Like, he kept getting agitated in the one where they go to town, where they go to New York, when the bag keeps getting stolen, and he's like, because stole it again. No, but that was like, <laughs> one of the best ones because at the party at the end they're like all these random people show up at this party they're like yeah with the kettles friends of the kettles <laughs> friend of the kettles and Two then minutes later, friend of the kettles <laughs> old mcdonald farm they actually tried to replace paul like this was not an additional character this was a new actor trying to replace paul oh, kettle yeah, you can't do that and no no offense yeah. against the man that stepped up to take that role but there is only one paul kettle and it was percy kilbride oh yeah you you sh they should have never even tried to replace they should have just stuck with if you're going to make one after the ozarks they should have just stuck with the the brother well, in my opinion, they should have kept their promise and they should have ended it there. I mean, they, yeah, they should. I mean, because, like I said, nothing against the other two guys, but those two just weren't, they weren't the first eight movies, you know, counting yeah. the egg and I. They just weren't, weren't right, so. Which, you know, there's a lot of them, if you go to buy the movies, like on Amazon or somewhere on DVD, there's several copies that don't even include the last two. They'll start at yeah. the Egg and I and go through back home. And they won't even include the last two. Like, you have to get, like, you know, the complete box set or something like that to get the last two. Because a lot of people... Uh, well, it's them. because they didn't reach the financial success that the other movies did, probably. So they're just like, yeah. let's just scrap our mistake and not put it in there. I mean, they shouldn't have put it in there. They shouldn't have never made them. So, oddly enough, Percy Kilbride was never married. So, you had Marjorie Maine, whose husband had died early on into their marriage. And then you had Percy Kilbride that had never married. Why didn't the universe just put these two together and literally make Mom and Paul Kettle in real life? I'll never understand. All right, guys. Well... That does it for us on this exit with Ma and Pa Kettle. 
All right, we'll catch you guys down the road at the next exit. Keep it spooky. Later.